Hi, I'm Sophie Giuliano, author of the Gorgeously Green book series. And today I am going to show you how to make your meat go further. Now, the basic rule with making your meat go further, because let's face it, we all want to try and save some money, is the cut, using the cuts of meat that are less expensive. So I always say go for chicken thighs rather than chicken breasts. That's, a, that's, that's probably a number one tip. And the other thing is, when you're using any meat, rather than thinking of meat as being the focal point of your plate, so you arrange your vegetables around this hunking great piece of meat, think of meat almost as being a side or a condiment or a decoration. So think of things like risottos, think of paella, think of stir fries, all those things you can just take a tiny little piece of meat and make it go much further for the whole family. However, today I am using a chicken breast. I'm going to show you how to make chicken pesto pasta. But for this, this is a recipe for four or five people and we're using just one chicken breast. So here I have my chicken breast frying and I have my pasta boiling, bubbling away. Okay, so I have drained my pasta now and I'm gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil right away. Number one, to stop it sticking. And number two, because obviously that is the lovely olivey flavor that we want on the finished dish. Now, second thing I'm gonna do is take out my chicken breast. Now remember, I am using one chicken breast for four people because this is all about making your meat go further. So I'm simply going to slice it up. Just put that all to one side. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is make some pesto very quickly. All right, so we have fresh basil from my yard. In it goes into the blender. Now I'm going to put in pine nuts, eyeballing it. That's a large handful of pine nuts. Again, you can't really go wrong with pesto, so don't get sort of finickety about the amount of everything. Some people like a bit more cheese, some people like a little bit more olive oil, whatever. Now I'm putting in Parmesan cheese, olive oil, copious amounts of olive oil. When you're making your own pesto, use the very best olive oil that you can afford to buy because it really does make a difference with the taste. Now, I'm also going to throw in two very large cloves of garlic. I love about this blender is that you don't have to chop anything, pre-chop anything, and just throw it all in. Okay, give it a good martini shake there, and then blend it up. Perfection, see how easy that was? And now we have the most Oh, that is, there's nothing like the smell of fresh pesto. So, out of the blender, straight onto my pasta, better than any Italian restaurant. And then finally, we're going to place the chicken onto the pasta. How delicious is that? Fresh pesto parmesan chicken pasta, all made with just one chicken breast. So remember, to make your meat go further, just do it yourself and do it gorgeously.